I felt going into the first um, Sunday of 2009, I wanted to begin a series this month, and hopefully I'll be able to touch on this series for the next couple of weeks. Um, but I tell you, God has really blessed me since I've been off, and since the holidays, I had like five different words from God, and I didn't know which one to go and how to go, but I just think that a lot of times with a series, you're able to go back. Hopefully you guys take notes. Um, how many have your Bible? Amen. I want to share something with you. Uh, my expectations will be that every leader will have your Bible. If you are considered a leader, I want you to have your Bible every Sunday. Every Sunday. And not only if you're not a leader, I want you to have your Bible every Sunday. Amen? Amen. And if you don't have a Bible and if you need a Bible, don't you have to raise your hand. We'll get your Bible. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen? So there should be no excuses why no one would have their Bibles, okay? It's important. A couple of things I'd like to start and talk to you about um, going forward in 2009 um, is commitment. Commitment. We need people. I told you, you look at your neighbor and say, I need you. You need me. And we, we said that. But what we need is commitment. How many know that we need you to be who you say you are and to do what you say you're going to do? How many know that? How many love the Lord? Watch out, every hand should go up. If you love the Lord, are you committing your life to his service like you should? If you love the Lord, how many love the Lord? Are you committed? Are you consistent? Are you living right? See, I love to have a good time and to make you, you know, smile and laugh, but at the end of the day, the onus is on me to tell you the truth. Amen. To tell you, for holiness without, no man, no man yes. shall see God. Yes. The onus is on me to let you know there is a standard and there is a lifestyle that you have to have as being called a believer. Now, if you don't want nobody to call you a believer, then that's fine. Then you will don't 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 but don't say you are a believer and then live your life a different way. See, because I want to talk to you today in the fifth chapter of Ephesians, uh, the apostle Paul is teaching in the church at Ephesus. Chapter 5, and what he's doing is he's going to talk about the walk. A lot of times people, uh, and when they reference walk, they reference walk from how I locomotive to one place to the other. The walk is put one foot in front of the other. But the Apostle Paul, in, in the book of Ephesians, on six different occasions, in six different chapters, do he speak about your walk? And he's not talking about getting from point A to point B. He's not talking about getting from the door to here. But what he's talking about is your conduct. What he's talking about is how you carry yourself. What he's talking about is are you acting like you say you are? You profess to be the, uh, a saint of God, and the Apostle Paul is going to share with you in Ephesus. Let me go in chapter 5. And it says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Now we said we were followers of God, right? And it says, And walk in love. That don't mean go from point A to point B in love, but it says let your conduct, let your behavior, let your actions 
actions be in love. As Christ also loved us. Because Christ loved you, you have to have love for everyone. That's the key word, everyone. And have given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling Savior. Now I'm going to give you six sins that's going to be condemned going through here. If you're doing any of these things, then you might want to rethink where you think you stand with Jesus. I'm just going to tell you the truth. I owe you the truth, and so i got to tell you the truth. So it says, but fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as you become saints. Neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting which are not convenient but rather giving of thanks. I'm going to give you five classes that are lost. For you know that no whoremonger nor unclean person nor covetous man who is an idolater have any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Now don't let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God on the children of disobedience. Be not therefore partakers with them. For we were sometimes darkness, but now ye are the light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Now you know I always got to give you a title. 